Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I know what you guys are thinking. Where has Aqualand Relic been? Well, if you take a look outside for us, uh, it's been very snowy, very cold. Matter of fact, right now it's one degree out. I'm not about detecting in one degrees. I'm not doing it. Maybe in my younger years I would have. 25, just getting way too old, out of my prime. Dad, I feel bad for him because he's like just turning 50, so his bones are brittle and everything. So we just, we ain't doing it. But with good news is we are going to keep going out once this snow melts off the ground, if it ever does. And we're going to be back on the grind. Speaking of grind, we are so close to reaching 3,000 subscribers. So if you guys want, feel free to subscribe and help us get there quicker. There is a very nice giveaway that's going on. Um, I think we're giving away a Knock the Mac. Yeah, Knock the Mac sponsored us and is giving us a pulse dive. Pulse dive. Yeah, pulse dive to give away. You don't want to miss them. They're really cool. They work underwater. They're 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 awesome. Another metal detecting company is sponsoring us and giving us a really nice shovel, which I'm kind of jealous because the shovel's super cool, and I wouldn't mind having it myself. But it's going to go to one of you guys. So if you want help us reach that 3,000 subscriber if you're not subscribed already hit that little subscribe button and uh, more details will be coming later um, right now we still got about 200 people left uh, until we reach 3,000 so but don't want to keep rambling on enjoy this little video that we put together and uh, we'll see you guys hopefully whenever the snow melts if it ever does we're at an a well well not well known but it's a Civil War area been hammered pretty hard I'm you I got the simplex and the AT pro I do a line with the AT pro and then I come with a line with the simplex but my first dig was this big old horseshoe I don't know if that would be a horseshoe or if that's actually a mule shoe I'm not sure it almost looks too huge to be a horseshoe but the reason I got the camera right, I wasn't even really re recording today unless we found something cool. But I know there's been a lot of coins come out of here. And this tone here, when I first pulled the plug out, on the AT Pro, it was a whisper. I could hear a 58, 60, but then every now and again it would whisper up to like a 88, 91, then back down into the 50s. So I dug the first plug out nothing i dug a little deeper and i see something here i am hoping this is going to be a coin i don't know what it's going to be it might be a button okay it's not going to be a coin it's going to be an old button you can see the the shank here on the back it looks like it almost feels like a lid button it's heavy I don't know if there's any design on it if there is a design on it I'll make sure you get a close-up of the design I want to say it feels like one but I'm not real sure but this is a good start today we've only been here maybe 25 minutes so I'm happy with something like that now we just got to get some coins popping Hey guys, this was the deep one. Like I was telling you when on the on the AT Pro, it was well pinpointer almost 10 inches deep. You can see it right here. It's gonna be a beautiful copper. I'm pretty sure this is a copper coin here. Oh yes, it's definitely a copper coin. Maybe a King George. I know a couple King Georges come out of here. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I try to mess with it too much. But guaranteed copper right here, baby. This is what it's about. Good job, David. Okay, as I told you, we're hunting deep signals today in this old cow field that's known for Civil War. And uh, I got one that wasn't really deep. It was only maybe three inches. I thought, should I even dig it? But I think it's some kind of maybe eating utensil or something. Definitely time period. That's probably made of brass or something like that here looks like it could have been a knife of some sort because it looked like it had a wooden handle on both sides or maybe even a bone handle who knows i didn't see anything else in the hole but 
pretty cool little find. I'll take that. All right, this was coming up uh, anywhere from uh, like a 54 up to the about a 68 on the AT Pro. Uh, looks like it's a bullet, just a round ball, kind of funky shape right here. Looks like you can see where it was cut off the mold. So, it's first uh, Civil War bullet of the day. David's over here on another target. He's working hard over there digging the deep hole. You gotta dig them deep here. Seems like everything's at least five, six inches deep, if not ten. So, Civil War bullet. All right, got my second possible looks like a civil war bullet of the day got the white patina it's probably just a little pistol bullet but david just pointed out something to me check this out that doesn't look good just my luck all right this one here was batting around 72 73 i came from the um actual corner of the field back up to back where i found that uh i'm thinking it looks like more and more like a large set but anyways in the hole here got a beautiful 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 69 caliber no i got a beautiful 69 caliber civil war bullet nice round ball it looks like it was dropped today i like it and uh this is just a couple days after the i'm pretty sure it's a kg2 in the hole here, I think I have Civil War. Pretty sure it's going to be a Civil War round ball. Now, the reason I bring you out for this round ball, this park has been detected pretty hard by a lot of people. And today I'm just listening. This is not a fairly deep signal. But I got the simplex. But I got it in field mode today. So I'm trying to find the deeper signals. And this was coming up a 72-73 Civil War round ball. And it was about three or four inches down. So in a park here like this that's detected fairly decent, I'll take that any day. All right, guys. So I'm here with my first find in probably, I don't know, maybe three months. Took a little break from metal detecting. Was doing a lot of deer hunting. But um, first find, well, actually not my first find. I actually found a couple nails, surprisingly. But this is my first cool find, I guess. Uh, it was coming up at 19 to 20 on the Equinox, about uh, six inches deep. Took it over to the expert, Michael, and uh, he said it's a part to an alarm clock. I'll give you guys a little close-up of it here. I don't know if I'm in frame. I haven't done this too much, so bear with me if the footage ain't there, but... Right there it is. This little piece right here swivels around like that. You know, try not to break it, but it's actually a pretty cool little find. Like I said, it was about six inches down in the in the dirt. I'm gonna keep going around this little area right in here. See if I can't find something silver. I really want to find something silver. Kind of get me back into the mood. But um we'll see. Right down there looks like a good spot. I think I'm gonna hit that next. We'll see. Stay tuned. All right, we're finally out together as a group again. David, Jordan, and me with the Simplex. David with the Max. Jordan with the Equinox. Hunting this old foundation David got permission for. And uh, found a couple finds over there that we'll get to in a little bit. But this one here, I had to get Jordan up here right away. When it popped out of the hole, I'm going to show you exactly what it looked like. I haven't tried to clean it or anything. It was coming up when the Simplex in the high 70s but as you can see here maybe a possible silver buckle maybe it's it's heavy uh i got a a brush here oh yeah she's got some pretty detail on it too you can see there's no no tarnish anywhere when I buckle. It's got like a clasp here that would probably hooked into whatever the piece of leather or whatever. Uh, 
what we'll do is we'll try to clean this up. If we can find any kind of markings on it, we'll get some markings on it. But that thing looks pretty, that thing looks pretty nice just the way it is. I figured I'd go up here and show you these other two finds. This one here, I think maybe a pewter spoon. Up here's another little buckle. Let's check out the pewter spoon first. Maybe pewter. And uh, as I dig the dirt out of it, I don't know if it's heavy enough to be pewter. It might be just an old, an old iron spoon bowl. I don't know. Usually, pewter seems to be a lot more heavier. I don't think that's quite heavy enough. But, you know, it's pretty much a typical find here at your old home sites. An old spoon bowl. I can picture a little kid out here digging by this big tree. Playing in the ground with his mother's favorite spoon. And never to be seen again. Okay, here's this little... I didn't really clean it up, so I don't, I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking it's going to be a little... Oh, yes, yes. Hang on here. Oh, yeah. You're looking at probably... Probably a colonial buckle at that. You can see. I'll get this cleaned up and get a close-up of this. This is really cool, actually. But you can see the the pointed little, three-pointed little teeth right there. I'm thinking that's going to be almost colonial wear. That is an awesome little buckle right there. Check out this iron stake. Uh, it doesn't look like a railroad stake. I've never quite seen one like that. That's a big boy, though. It probably weighs almost a pound itself, maybe a little over a pound. That's a heavy-duty spike. It was coming up pretty high on the simplex, I guess, because of the... And maybe it was even more in the hole where the roundness was showing up. But uh, it was coming up in the 70, 80 area, area. I was thinking maybe a coin, but maybe that's how it was in the ground because I really couldn't tell when I popped it. And maybe the detector was picking up the roundness. But, man, I've never seen a spike like that. Okay, <clears throat> I'm well outside the house foundation. The house foundation is up over past that tree. There's a big dip down in here. But I think I found an old stove piece. You can see the old cast iron. It had some kind of design on it, so... Thinking it was probably like the base or something like that to an old wood stove, cooking stove of some sort. Uh, another pretty typical find around these old home sites. Like I said, that buckle I just found here a little earlier, that probably dates back to the late 1700s. So this could possibly be from that same era. Who knows? All right, guys. So I definitely wasn't expecting this find here. I was uh, coming down the hill. Dad's right here to my right. Well, I guess it would be my, my left. You're right. Um... Got a really, I don't know, probably about six inches down in the ground. And I was really surprised whenever it came out of the ground. It came out of the ground a, a three ringer. And it looks like, well, it might not be in as great a shape as I thought it was going to be. But I tell you what, that's definitely what that is. That's... That's a pretty crazy find. Never would have thought I would have found one of them today. Pretty cool though. Check the park on top of that. Yeah, on on top of the park, like Dad was just saying, we're at the park again, and just this park just keeps providing us with good stuff. We'll keep coming back, I guess. <laughs> 